King of the Road. Thanks again for watching the King of the Road Show. I'm Jim King. Still to come on this week's show, we'll cruise to Golden Triangle Raceway Park in Beaumont for Friday night races. But first, we'll air King's Music Clip of the Week, sponsored by Starvin' Marvin's Bar and Grill in Beaumont. As I'm sure you've heard by now, Marvin Atwood, a.k.a. Starvin' Marvin, recently led a protest rally at Beaumont City Hall. King of the Road Productions was on hand, and here's my special report. Hello. Starvin' Marvin, good to see you again. How you doing, Jim? Well, the uh, trials and tribulations just continue. Shortly after you opened, um, you started having trouble with some neighbors over there complaining about your music. You won with the city the first round. The TABC got involved. You won that challenge. And now here you go again. We, we have definitely met several challenges at this, and we're trying to meet another challenge at this time. Uh, this seems to be an end around, I think, just trying to change zoning without the proper channels and we have a restraining order now uh, we'll get a temporary injunction on March 30th hopefully if God willing we'll get us a temporary injunction which will carry us through the lawsuit so that the law can't be enforced until we go to court we are still in complete compliance with the zoning ordinances in this town every zoning ordinance including the noise ordinance okay they changed a nuisance ordinance uh, not even in the zoning they changed they went around zoning and changed the zoning we're in a general commercial zone, and general commercial zones are allowed to play music. They're allowed to have live entertainment. They're allowed to have an amusement park or a public golf course there. That's all available there according to the city's definition of general commercial. So I'm not doing anything that the city don't say you can do there. From the rally outside City Hall, the action moved indoors where we heard from many concerned citizens, including Marvin's attorney, Cade Burnson. Starving Marvin has bent over backwards to be a good neighbor. Now, contrary to what a lot of the people who have complained about him in the previous months, they have said a lot of absolutely false, misleading things to this council and to the press. Now, we would like an opportunity to, to resolve this before it costs Marvin any more money and before it costs the taxpayers any more money. We have hired a sound expert and let there be no doubt that under this new noise ordinance, contrary to the, this thing that was on my chair here earlier today, according to this new noise ordinance, uh, not only will Marvin not be allowed to play music on his back porch, he will not be allowed to have people eat dinner out there or lunch because technically that would be a violation. So let there be no doubt, this new ordinance will shut him down and all the people behind me will lose their jobs. We just want an opportunity to tell our side of the story. We'll have a hearing. Anything y'all will allow. We needed the injunction to, to, to pause, to pause this thing. But thank you for this opportunity. At the conclusion of the City Hall session, I had the opportunity to speak with City Councilman W.L. Pay. Like I said, we want to be fair, and I think everybody on council wants to be fair. This, uh, uh, I, I don't think there's anybody on council that, that wants uh, uh, starving Marvins uh, to go out of business. We just have to figure out a way to make it work. And I think we will. On another note, do they always keep it this cold in here? It's, uh, it's like 50 degrees. No lie, it really was cold inside City Hall. And by the way, for the time being, nothing has changed at Starvin' Marvin's Bar and Grill. They're still serving up delicious food, including crawfish on Fridays through Mondays, and live music five nights per week with no cover. Now it's time for King's Music Clip of the Week, sponsored by Starvin' Marvin's. John Mellencamp has sold over 40 million albums worldwide and has amassed 22 top 40 hits in the United States. In addition, he holds the record for the most tracks by a solo artist to hit number one on the hot mainstream rock stream tracks chart with seven and has been nominated for 13 Grammy Awards winning one. Here's Rounder Records recording artist John Mellencamp with no better than this. 